All right, dive right in today. We're talking chicken poop. You sent in questions, we hear you. It's not the most glamorous topic, but when you're a farmer, well, you got to know this stuff, right? Absolutely. It's like Farmer 101. And you know what? It's fascinating stuff, too. Okay, so walk us through it. Why is something we might think is kind of gross actually so important? It all boils down to the gut. A chicken's gut, it's their engine, right? And the droppings, they're like this little message board giving us clues about what's going on inside. Even before you see any other signs of trouble, the poop can be a heads up. Okay, so no more ignoring what's in the coop. So let's talk about, like, what's normal? What should healthy chicken poop look like? Think dark brown, almost black, actually. And it should be nicely formed, not runny, but you might see a little white cap on top that's just uric acid, their version of pee. So... Anything other than that perfect poop, and we should be worried. Not necessarily worried, but definitely alert. Even little changes can be a sign that something's up, like if the droppings are kind of wet and losing their shape, or if you see way more droppings than usual, those could be early warnings. So subtle changes matter. Now, you sent in some research about how the color of chicken poop can be a big clue. It's like they have their own color-coded warning system, right? Exactly. Each color, it's like a signal flare telling you what might be going on. So let's start with orange. Okay, orange. What are our feathered friends trying to tell us with that? Orange can be a little tricky, to be honest. Sometimes it means coccidiosis, a common parasite. But it could also just be that first poop after they've been fasting, or even low blood sugar. So orange might be more about how fast things are moving through their system rather than a specific disease. Exactly. Now, yellow, that one's a bit more a red flag. Always take a closer look when you see yellow droppings. Oh boy, yellow alert. What makes yellow so concerning? Yellow often points to something specific like inclusion body hepatitis. It's a viral infection. Hits young chicks especially hard, really messes with their growth. Or it could be blackhead disease nasty parasite. You'll see really bright, almost neon yellow droppings in that one. So with yellow, we're talking potential outbreaks. Early detection is key here, right? Absolutely. The quicker you catch it, the better the chance of keeping the rest of your flock healthy. Now, how about caramel colored droppings? Have you ever noticed those? Caramel. It sounds almost delicious, but something tells me it's not good news. Not really. Caramel often means a bacterial infection, usually those Brachyspira bacteria. And here's a curveball. It can also be an early sign of coccidiosis, same as that orange we were talking about. Okay, so caramel, another one to watch closely, see if any other symptoms pop up. Now, what about green? What's that telling us? Green can be a few things. It could be a bile problem. Biles like this digestive juice helps them break down fats. Green droppings could mean the bile's not doing its job. Or, and this is the one that worries a lot of people, it could be avian influenza. Avian influenza. Yeah, that's been in the news a lot lately. So green doesn't automatically mean it's avian influenza, but it's definitely a reason to be cautious, wouldn't you say? 100%. If you see green and you're worried, call your vet. Better safe than sorry. Absolutely. Okay, we've covered orange, yellow, caramel, green. What about red? I have a feeling this one's a little more straightforward. You'd be right. Red is almost always blood. Could be something simple, like a little peck injury, or it could be a bigger issue in the intestines. Either way, red means something's bleeding. Definitely a call the vet situation. <laughs> okay, what about gray? Gray usually means trouble absorbing nutrients from their feed, or it could be an issue with the feed itself. <laughs> Makes sense. If they're not digesting their food properly, the droppings are going to look different. Okay, last color on the list, black. Or, as the research you sent calls it, terry black. What's that all about? That one can be a bit misleading. Sometimes it's nothing. If it's hot out, they drink more water, their droppings might look blacker, but it can also mean digested blood in the droppings. That's called melina. Could be a sign of a more serious problem. Okay, so black, another one where you really gotta play detective, right? See what else is going on with the birds. This is so interesting, but I gotta be honest, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. There are a lot of colors. It's a lot to remember. But, you know, you don't have to memorize it all at once. Just focus on what's normal for your birds. Right. My flock might be different than the next farm over, and that's okay. Exactly. So you're already out there every day checking on your birds, right? You're looking for anything unusual. So now, just add this to your mental checklist. What's the poop looking like today? Any changes? And if you see changes the color, how runny or firm it is, whatever seems off, that's your signal to start investigating. Got it. So it's all about spotting those changes, big or small. Now, we also got some questions about finding undigested food in chicken droppings. What's the deal with that? 
It seems like something that could happen every now and then, even if your birds are healthy. You're right. The occasional undigested bit isn't necessarily a big deal, but if you're seeing it all the time, that's a different story. It usually means they're not digesting their food properly, and there are a few reasons why that might be happening. Okay, like what? What could cause that? Well, the feed itself could be the problem. Maybe the feed particles are too big for them to break down, or maybe the quality of the ingredients just isn't there. Or it could be a sign that something's going on inside, like a mild infection messing with their digestion. So that undigested food, it's like a clue that their digestive system is struggling. Exactly. And when you see that clue, it's time to figure out what's causing the problem. Is it the feed? Is it an infection? That's where a vet can be super helpful. Right. They can run tests, really get to the bottom of it. Exactly. <laughs> Better safe than sorry, especially when it comes to your bird's health. Okay, we've covered a lot today. Different colors, undigested food. But there's one more thing I wanted to touch on before we wrap up this episode. Diarrhea. Every chicken owner has been there, right? It's messy, it's worrying, and we got a few questions about it from our listeners. Definitely. Diarrhea is really common in chickens, and usually it's not a disease in itself. It's a symptom of something else that's going on, like a little alarm bell going off. So if our listeners are out there and they're dealing with a case of chicken diarrhea, how can they try to figure out what's causing it just by looking at the, well, you know? That's where those color clues we talked about earlier come in handy. The color of the diarrhea, along with how watery or bloody it is, can tell you a lot. Like watery brown diarrhea, that could be the coccidiosis we talked about, but bloody diarrhea, that's more serious. Could be bacteria, parasites, even an injury. Okay, so even though diarrhea is a pain to deal with, no pun intended, it's actually giving you important information if you know what to look for. Exactly. It's their way of saying, hey, something's wrong. And by paying attention to the details, the color, the consistency, you can start figuring out what that something is and get them the help they need. This is fascinating stuff. Who knew we could learn so much from, well, chicken droppings? It's like a whole other language. It really is. And once you know how to speak the language, you can start having these really important conversations with your flock. You can understand what they need and how to keep them healthy and thriving. I love that. Yeah. So for our listeners, what are some key takeaways here? If they're out there in the coop and they see something in the droppings that worries them, what should they do? First off, don't panic. Chickens are going to have variations in their droppings. It's normal. But if you see something that seems off, don't ignore it. Take a closer look. Think about those colors and consistencies we talked about. And if you're at all concerned, give your vet a call. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Yeah. Right? Both literally and figuratively. Sometimes you got to dig in to the research and to what's going on in your coop to really understand what your birds are trying to tell you. I like that. Don't be afraid to get curious, get informed and advocate for your flock's health. It's all connected. You know, it's funny. We started talking about chicken poop, and I have to admit, I was a little grossed out. Totally. It's not exactly, you know, dinner conversation. But it's amazing how much I've learned. It's like, we can't just sweep this under the rug, right? Yeah. It's an important part of having chickens. That's so true. And once you start paying attention, you realize it's not gross, it's information. Exactly. We're not just talking about, you know, waste. We're talking about their health. It's like you said, it's like they're trying to communicate with us. They are. They're telling us how they're feeling, what they might need. And the more we listen, the better we can take care of them. I love that. So last question, and maybe the most important one. Our listeners are out there. They're chicken on their flocks. And they see something in the droppings, something that just doesn't sit right with them. What's your advice? What should they do? Trust your instincts. You know your birds better than anyone. You see them every single day. So if something seems off, even a little, don't ignore it. Take a good look. Remember those colors we talked about? Think about the consistency, how it looks. And if you're still worried, call the vet. Always better to be safe than sorry. 100% agree. Well, this has been eye-opening. I'm walking away with a whole new appreciation for what's going on in the coop. And hey, maybe I can even impress my farming friends with my chicken poop knowledge now. There you go. Spread the word. Exactly. It's all about learning from each other and from, well, our feathered friends. Thanks for joining us on The Deep Dive, everyone. And remember, knowledge is power, even when it comes from the most unexpected places. Until next time, happy farming.